Hello everyone. It's getting a little bit warmer outside. Uh, today is uh, the, the first day out here in my shop that I don't need to have the heaters on. As a matter of fact, I actually have my garage door open, let some air come in, and I've got one of my fans. I'm getting ready to uh, turn that on here shortly. Uh, once it gets a little bit warmer, it's early. It's not even, it's not even eight o'clock in the morning yet um, at this time, um, at least for me. I don't know where to, what time it is for you guys, but it's not even eight here. So I'm gonna go ahead and get myself started on this, on the next part of this. I'm gonna, I'm gonna start on the, the lower half of this mill uh, where the stonework is. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and, and start down here, um, put in uh, some more windows, I guess, uh, on that side, and then we'll start with the stonework. Uh, that should be what this entire video will be about. We'll see when it's over, of course. And then uh, last thing we'll have to do is all the, um, landscaping around it, get that waterfall in, get the rocks uh, around the, the river in, and I may even put some trees around it. So we'll see. We'll see what we do. All right, let's get moving. Okay, I feel like I have that one down pretty good. I like that. Um, that lower half with the brick, I do want to clean up my windows just a little bit more. I'll see if I can get those a little bit nicer, uh, cleaned out a little bit inside of them. So, all right, wonderful. One thing I noticed uh, while I'm trying to put in these windows down here is the this surface is a lot um, rougher. I haven't smoothed this out like I did this one. So I'm going to take my um, sandpaper flap disc here and I'm gonna sand this down. I'm gonna smooth it out because there's a lot of, and it may not be all that noticeable there on the video, but when you're trying to do detail work, um, there's, there's a lot of bumps and, and uh, high and low areas and what have you, which I guess is the definition of a bump, right? Uh, I wanna smooth that down so that I can get nice straight lines without having my um, my carbide bits uh, wander when I'm doing this. So let me go ahead and do this. So I've, I've gone ahead and I've smoothed uh, this surface. It's, it's really nice. There's still a couple little bumps here or there, uh, but it isn't too hateful. Uh, at all. I'll be able to work out with that pretty easily. But a problem that I've just noticed is I, I do have to do something with this landscaping right here because it's it's sticking too far out and the, the brickwork goes back in there. So I do have to uh, at least get this portion of my landscape to where it actually belongs uh, so that I could um, so I can properly put the stonework across into there. So I guess that's what we're gonna do right now.
So the two larger lower portions of stonework are complete and I am more than happy with that look. Um, I do need to now, uh, I'm gonna come around and do underneath, there's some stonework, uh, some stone right down, down below here and a little bit here, it'll continue around this way. Um, I am going to take a bit of a break here. Not that you're going to notice because uh, I'm just going to put it right together there, but I, I need to rest my hands a little bit. And uh, we'll go ahead and go get this stuff in here. And I may even do something with the roof so that the building is completely uh, finished, just like I said. And then we can move on to our landscaping. Beautiful. All right. Well, I'm going to go ahead and... Uh, Start work on the front part of this building. Get this thing done, get some, uh, I don't mean get it done, I just mean get the, the brick down here done, get the steps coming up. This will look very different than a lot of photos that you see because there is a, um, a deck that's been put on in the front. I've, I'm not doing the deck. There's also a, uh, a brick walkway that goes here, but that's not original to the building, so that's not gonna be there. Uh, it's just going to be a couple of steps coming up to that, that doorway. Okay, let's go. So there's a little retaining wall that goes uh, in the front here to hold up the soil back here uh, that's in the front by the front door and it goes down pretty low over here. Um, so I did put that in. I do have the front done and the top of the retaining wall is complete. Uh, I'm, I'm going to have to do some thinking on how to get up into here because I am having some problems with uh, my bits not reaching because the, the depth. Uh, and I'm also having that same issue on this side over here, getting in this way. It's, uh, it's, it's a little difficult to get across there, but I'll figure that out. I'm not worried uh, at all. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, let's take a look at uh, this side so I can get down here done and see what I need to do to complete that back side. Beautiful. So this side's gonna be um, a lot of guesswork. So unless someone out there has an image of this side of the mill that they can share with me. I am not, I'm four hours away from this mill and I'm not gonna be able to get there before I, I should have probably done a little more research here, but it's all good. Um, I do know that uh, this upper dam that we see right here does direct the water uh, as it's coming in this way from the river it's, it's coming in here, but the dam directs water this way and it goes into the mill here somewhere. So in here is some sort of hole. I'm guessing a pipe of some sort or even just an opening in the mill. And that's really all I'm gonna put in there for now is just some sort of opening because the water will go into here uh, in the mill. Uh, the wheel is probably situated right about in this location here. Um, and then the water also, any of the uh, excess water, there's a pipe right here where it comes out. Uh, so that's kind of what I'm gonna try to, to do here. Uh, it's all just guesswork. It'll be easy to fix if someone does have a photo of this side, that'd be terrific. Um, if not, I'm gonna just carry on and um, pretend.
Well, that's it for today on this one. Um, I, I did get the front all done. Uh, or other than the uh, front step, I have to work on that. I did get the uh, this side done here with the retaining wall that you can see uh, over on my right, your left, I believe. And then let's go all the way around here. So now we've got the back side here. This is the side that I, I do have a difficult time finding photos for. So again, if anyone has one of this side, uh, I, I did kind of get what I think looks uh, right. So I'm gonna stick with that for now. Uh, the building is pretty much uh, complete at this point. I, I'm feeling real good about how that looks. Uh, I'm really enjoying it and I'm really uh, happy with how things are turning out. If you really look closely at this building, you can see that, you know, it's a little bit wonky in spots. It's not exactly perfect, but it's a carving. It's a hand hand carved piece. So it's, if I make it perfect, um, nobody's gonna believe that it was, not that I can make it perfect, so I don't even know why I'm going there, but it, you know, it's, it, it, I want it to look handmade and it's going, it is handmade and it's going to look handmade. So all is good for me. Uh, I'm hoping you're enjoying this series. Um, ideas for our next uh, next series. If there's a, a building or something in your area you'd like me to do, that'd be terrific. I'd love to do that. Uh, I have, uh, I think I have an idea of where I want to go next with uh, with my next one, but I can easily be swayed. I do appreciate everybody watching, subscribing, liking it, commenting, all the good stuff that you guys are doing with me. Uh, thanks for following along on this little journey of mine. I do appreciate it. Have a wonderful day.